Hi guys, today I'm going to give you a, a quick tutorial on how to get a domain name on GoDaddy as well as how to sign up for a hosting plan with GoDaddy that in which you will be billed on a monthly basis and not get stuck paying for things you don't need. First off, you go to GoDaddy.com, set up your account, so forth and so on. That is extremely explainable, so I'm not going to go into that. I did, uh, I'm not going to get into it, but you can see here, this is the domain name that I want to purchase, own website designs. The reason why I picked that, to talk briefly about search engine optimization, is that these three terms are typed into Google's uh, browser, search engine, 12,100 times per month. And the competition for these words is only 13,700. Uh, you might not know that, but that is a very, very good. Normally, competition for words that are this this strong is in the millions. So I type in the domain I want to purchase, and I hit go. And it's available. So for anybody out there that thinks there aren't any good domain names available, you would be wrong. Then you would come down here and click on Continue to Registration. This box is going to pop up. .com is the way it is. Don't even bother getting those. So hit No Thanks, bottom here. Then what's going to pop up is this box, which is normally checked for two years. I'm going to select it as one. These are all the little tricks they try and get you with. Okay, and then hit continue. This is another place they try to trick you. There's your privacy and domain protection and all this stuff. If you don't know what that is, chances are you don't need it. Come down here, click continue. When in regards to emails, I believe a great way to save some money is to just use the standard email package that's set up with GoDaddy. I do not feel like spent, uh, giving them an additional $1.89 or two eighty four or ten dollars per month. What I do is I have everything forwarded to the one email that uh, they give you complimentary, so you don't have any reason to purchase these unless you're a big business. And if you're a big business, you can use uh, Gmail systems and other things to get around having to pay for your email. So don't like that either. Here's another place people get tricked. If you click on this, which is their web hosting deluxe package, they're going to lock you in so that you have to pay the first full year up front. I personally don't want to do that. I want to pay on a monthly basis. So I'm going to click on no thanks. And then you just simply click on checkout. And you can see here, I wasn't tricked. I'm paying the standard $10.87 for the package that I wanted to purchase. So I would just simply enter my credit card information and then check out. But now what I'm going to do, and that, and that is exactly what you should do. Fill all that out, tick these two things on, continue with checkout. They're going to process your credit card information. You're going to get your domain name. Now what I did was I have a site already previously set up that I want to upgrade to the hosting package that I want and only pay for that hosting package on a monthly basis. So what you would do is log back into GoDaddy after your domain is registered with you. Come over here to hosting. And here I have a website that I recently purchased. What I want to do, or a domain name that I recently registered, I want to click on that. You're going to see over here on the right side, people get confused about this all the time. You'll see Upgrade, Downgrade, Hosting, Account, and you'll see I have one of the accounts checked over here. Click on Upgrade, Download, Hosting Account, and now it's going to give me a list of all the different plans. I prefer a Linux system, and I think if you don't want to get yourself in trouble, you should get a Linux system as well. So I zoom in here. I prefer the Deluxe Hosting Package with GoDaddy, $6.99 per month. And here's all the add-ons, all unchecked for you. And you click on Continue. And you can see right here, and in actuality, I had a credit, but I normally would be charged $6.99 reoccurring. My billing is going to be on a monthly basis, so I'm not spending $80 right up front before I decided the domain name is even worth uh, spending money on at all. And I am paying the bare minimum for both registering a domain name 
as well as hosting it with GoDaddy. Hope that answers a lot of your questions. Again, you would just fill in credit card, tick everything off, hit continue with checkout, and if they ask you if you want to buy any additional things, just say no and process the account. And that's basically it. Hope that helps somebody out there save some money, and you have a great day.